name is Guillaume. I work for a company called Little Workshop. I'm a web designer. I started working with Cédric Pinson, who's the developer for the demo. My job was to, come, to help him, you know, come up with a, an interesting concept, uh, what the demo was actually going to be like, and to work on the visual design. Donc, je suis uh, Cédric Pinson. Je viens de uh, Reims, et en fait, donc je travaille, je, je fais uh, du service autour de uh, de la 3D. I used to say, yeah, 3D is cool, and you can inject web content with the 3D. And it's what we did here. We have a globe and you see Twitter activity on this globe. So you see like some waves. You have a lot of Twitter activity right here, right now. L'idée est de pouvoir euh, visionner l'activité Twitter en temps réel et mondial. We started talking about how could we represent Twitter's activity in a 3D scene. We immediately thought about a 3D planet with tweets emerging from the, the actual location where they come from. Donc ça met en œuvre pour ça la technologie WebGL. It's something that's quite new because it's the first time that we have actual real-time 3D graphics in a web page. Puisque l'idée c'est d'utiliser aussi cette démo euh, sur des écrans tactiles. Donc pour pouvoir zoomer, euh, euh, tourner le globe. You're manipulating the content of the web page, the 3D thing. Donc c'est une démo au sujet de euh, Twitter principalement. Et donc ça permet d'avoir une, une idée globale de euh, qui tweet quand, euh, les heures de pointe dans les différents pays. There are some countries that you would not expect to see tweeting that much, which are literally exploding the tweet count. Like Brazil is very active tweeting country, Indonesia as well. What really is new in this demo is that it's a demonstration of how WebGL content can be integrated within a regular web page. C'est assez intéressant en fait de lier de la 3D avec des technologies de communication qui sont plus typiquement web. It's just so much different when you have been used to seeing web pages for like 15 years that are completely flat and now you can see content literally pop out of the screen and for you to interact with.